Hi, my name is Lee Shanus. I'm the executive director and co-founder of Intercambio, and I want to share with you about gratitude, obstacles, connections, and innovation at Intercambio. So lots of people have demonstrated a fierce commitment recently to keep Intercambio strong during a time when community and connections is more important than ever. Uh, our one and only fundraiser, Comedy for Cambio, got canceled, and our donors really stepped up big time, and we are super appreciative of that. Um, there's still time to give if you haven't given yet. Our, the event was going to be this Friday. Um, and we also received our federal PPP loan, and so we are on solid financial ground for now, uh, but we anticipate major revenue hurdles over the next year and more uh, because of several reasons. One, because a lot of our donors stepped up now, um, but might not be able to also step up at the end of the year like they usually do. Two is our curriculum sales have almost come to a complete halt. And then three is just the uncertainty of the economic future of our country. So we're preparing for our budget, which starts in July, and we're taking into account all of these real challenges. For staff, the month of March was emotionally brutal. We made fast and tough decisions to significantly cut our expenses, knowing that these long-term challenges lie ahead. And the cuts were super painful, um, but now we feel like uh, our staff is very focused and the right size to be financially sustainable in this new world. Our national program also faces brand new challenges. Revenue from selling our new Confidence and Connections curriculum was on pace to double last year's sales and account for about 25% of our annual income. Uh, but now that growth is on pause because all of our national partners are unable, unable to hold their face-to-face -face classes like usual. Connections-wise, we're reaching out more than ever personally to our immigrant students to make them feel heard, emotionally supported, and connected to important resources in the community. So with resources, half the equation is having the resources available. The other half is making sure that the people who need those resources are aware of those resources, feel safe accessing them, and actually access them. So Intercambio for the last two decades has built relationships and trust with thousands of immigrants, and uh, we're filling an important gap with, with resource referrals right now. And during a deadly outbreak, the inability to communicate with doctors and nurses can be a matter of life and death. So we're seeing continued interest in the English classes. Recently, we started group classes with Zoom for about 70 of our students. And uh, we also have dozens of our one-on-one -on -one students continuing to meet with their teachers online as well. And we're excited to pilot these online classes, learn from them, uh, adjust, and, and eventually grow them as we learn more. Uh, our amazing staff is creating new trainings and videos for teachers, students, and administrators nationwide. Uh, hundreds of people around the country are attending our new live webinars and accessing new tools of ours so that they can also improve their teaching skills and their ability to bridge cultural divides in their communities. We're also exploring new digital ways to share our curriculum and our model so that we can keep spreading the Intercambio model as much as possible and, uh, and the Intercambio way of deepening relationships across cultures and accelerating language acquisition. And at the same time, it's important that we explore other ways to generate ongoing revenue. So in summary, I'm super grateful to work with incredible staff, a board, uh, incredible volunteers, students, donors, partners locally and nationally that are all just very committed to our purpose. Together we're overcoming obstacles and innovating like never before and remaining connected for life at a very important time. We'll get through this and emerge from this strange time uh, stronger than ever thanks to the generosity, the collaboration, and the resilience of our amazing community. So thank you.